Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Hodge here, and I am going to be showing you the new uh, snapshot for Minecraft. It's 12W16A. Um, I am still sick. I didn't feel like doing a Let's Play, but I figured I could do something on the, the snapshot and show you guys that. I sound ridiculous, um, and I hate it, but <laughs> I did want to show you the snapshot. So, uh, this is not pushed the full launcher yet. You have to download it from, from Mojang. Uh, I think uh, Jeb tweeted out a link. Um, you can find it pretty easily if you search on YouTube. And in fact, I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, but you get, we, we got some new options with this one. So, um, when you open up more world options, I'll go back, um, create new world. So this is my new world and let's just call it 12W16A. Okay. And we'll leave it to survival. Um, you can bring up more world options. You have your, your default things that you can do super flatter default. Um, generate structures on and off. Those have been there for forever. Uh, allow cheats on, um, which will give you things like game mode and XP. I'll show you that in a second. We're going to turn that on. And a bonus chest um, that I'll show you what that really does. Um, and so we're going to do 12W16A as our seed, just for the heck of it. Why not? And say done. So make sure on, on, done. Okay. Let's uh, create this world now. Create new world. So here we go. Gonna build terrain, all that good stuff, and bring us up. And I'm gonna be able to show you some of these new things that they're gonna that are in this uh, snapshot. So, okay, so when you spawn in, uh, you immediately have a chest with you, um, and this chest is gonna have some basic items. I'm pretty sure they're random, um, but just some some basic stuff that will help you get started, and that's pretty awesome. Um, so if you don't like the tedious stuff at the beginning, where you don't, where you have to, you know, build your first set of tools. See here, I got two axes. Apple, so I'm good to go. I could really explore for a little bit and be perfectly okay um, to do that. Um, so let's look at these game mode commands. If you're used to server stuff, um, it normally it's set to T. I mapped mine to enter because I'm used to MMOs. Uh, but you hit whatever key brings up your chat and you can do slash game mode 1. And now I'm in creative mode. Look at that. Um, now, being in creative mode, uh, some of you guys may know, you can't really access your inventory in creative mode. Um, the stuff you're carrying. But you can if you go to a chest or something, then you'll be able to access your inventory. I don't really like that, but I understand when you're switching back and forth from creative to other things, that's, that stuff's going to happen. So I get, I get it. I'm, I'm down. Um, womp. Okay, so the other, the other new thing is the XP command which will automatically give you XP actually before I do that let me go back to uh, game mode zero okay back to survival okay so now we can see my XP bar so let's go XP and let's try to give ourselves that number well I can't do that I can only put 5,000 um, <laughs> uh, Bbotvox made the point that they should have made it 9,000 or or over 9,000, I would say. So you could be over 9,000. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, XP, um, and we'll do 5,000. So boom, now I'm level 52. <laughs> um, so if we just wanted to do this, let's. Um, I wonder if like server side commands like give uh, five. Yes, okay, so give commands work. Awesome. Um, so yeah, you can really let your imagination go wild now uh, if you turn those cheats on. Um, it's cool because I've seen a lot of mods that do that. Um, and so to have, it, to have it in the game is pretty dang interesting. Um, it is. Okay, so let's, let's do some enchanting real quick. I haven't played with enchanting enough because I'm... Uh, I'm lazy and I don't stay in my house or stay in my house more than I ought to, <laughs> and so I haven't played with enchanting too much. But let's let's see what we can do here with 5,000 experience because holy poop, that's a lot of experience. Um, bookcase, bookcase, bookcase. There you are. Okay. Oh, through my axe and my axe. Okay. Lord of the Rings references anyone? <laughs> okay, bookcases and that. Oh man, I hate that's off-centered. Okay, whatever. Um, boom. Let's take this. All right, I don't know what this does, but we're fixing to do it. Boom. What is this? Diamond sword with sharpness of two. Heck yes. That doesn't really help, does it? Cow. Let's get the cow. Hello, cow. Do 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 do. 
Womp. Womp. Nice. All right. So anyway, um, XP could be awesome if you're doing a single player and you want to be able to um, get crazy good XP. Um, this seems to me probably one of the only ways we're going to beat the Nether realistically. <laughs> um, you know, on our own time and not taking forever. I mean, you could set up an XP farm, um, but I'm pretty sure you need a lot of. You're going to want a lot of enchanted stuff if you try to face the Ender Dragon by yourself. Um, and so this is one of the ways to do that. Um, I think it's a cool idea. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's staying. Um, because there are mods that do this, and, and it seems to be that when a mod is popular, then it gets remade uh, by Mojang, which is good. Um, I think it's them taking what the community says and going, okay, we want to do that. Because um, that's what the community is already doing. And it, it works cool. I mean, it's it's seamless. You guys saw. I mean, it's it's all the stuff you're used to. I mean, TP commands. Um, of course, there's nobody on because I'm on a single-player world, but if I were on a server... Um, there's lots of cool stuff you can do with that, um, as far as, um, you know, different commands. I think now you can type TP, and then it automatically will come up with a player's name if you hit the tab key. Even, even here, um, I can hit the tab key when I open my, uh, inventory, and it'll cycle through all the commands that you have. So you have game mode, toggle down, or toggle down fall, um, time, give, kill, XP, um, so I guess we could do like time, yeah, no, <laughs> time set, I can't type, what the heck's wrong with me, time set, let's say zero, yeah, awesome, okay, well that eliminates the, needs for, the need for a lot of mods for me, that's pretty fantastic, oh hey, uh, Facebook making noise, um, don't know if you guys heard that. Anyway, okay, so that's that's the majority of stuff, at least single-player side. There is some client-side stuff, um, excuse me, server-side stuff. Um, like I was talking about, you can hit the the chat button and use tab to cycle through your commands, which will be awesome. You know, you can see that. That would be awesome. I'm, I'm very excited about the implementation of that. And really, actually, I'm really excited about the XP command. Um, it's going to be very tempting not to use that <laughs> in my Let's Plays, but... It will be cool for just single player having fun messing around type stuff. Anyway, guys, um, that's about it. If you want a full change log or anything like that, you can find those around the internet. I just wanted to show you this stuff single player side that I really found interesting. So there you go. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you soon, hopefully not with the stuff he knows. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.